Greetings. In this video, we're going to see some mistakes that are made during IV catheterization in patients who have well visible peripheral veins, but their veins have thick walls. And I will point out some of the mistakes, but some mistakes will be left to the community to figure out. Feel free to leave the comments with your suggestions. However, in the follow-up video, I will disclose all mistakes made and how to avoid them. So be sure to subscribe to the channel and not miss the video with the answers. Let's get started. First attempt. What, what is here? wrong with this one? Second attempt. What is wrong here? Is the needle catheter system now in the vein? We clearly don't have a flashback, and yet the operator is trying to withdraw the needle to see whether he has passed through and through in order to get a flashback. What would you do? Clearly we have a blood return in the catheter, but also we can see the hematoma formation as well as that the blood flow is not adequate, meaning the blood coming back into the needle catheter system is from the perivenous hematoma and not from the intravenous catheter placement. Attempt number three. What is wrong with this technique? Is the catheter in the vein? Clearly this has been a failure. But let's see now what we can do to fix that. Here's a more experienced operator who then takes over. And let's see what happens. Let's look at the stabilization of the vein and the speed at which the catheter is being introduced. A 
and here we go. All right, I hope you find this video useful and what made a difference between unsuccessful attempts and a successful placement of the IV catheter is number one, lack of hesitation. Number two, greater speed of catheter insertion, which was required for the veins with a thicker wall. And three, sufficiently deep insertion of the catheter needle system into the lumen of the vein before attempting to feed the catheter over the needle. I would love to get some feedback from you on what mistakes were made during the first three unsuccessful attempts and be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the follow-up video with answers. Until next time.